What's going on guys? The Scarlet Speedster here with Out of My Mind Arcade and in this video I'm going to be doing a short tutorial showing you how to disable the emulator settings launch script. The emulator settings launch script is the menu that will pop up if you keep hitting any button after the video game has been launched. I've seen this question asked quite a few times over the past two years, so I figured I'd do a short tutorial showing you how to do this, considering it's extremely simple to do. Now, if you yourself aren't comfortable or don't know very much about the RetroPie settings, or you have kids that are playing the system a lot, or you have friends over, a couple of buddies over, and you all are sitting down playing the system, this is something that you probably don't want getting launched because it can make all kinds of problems. So you yourself, the kids that are playing your system, or your buddies, you may not want to launch this menu because, again, it can create a world of problems if you do not know what you're doing. And again, it's super simple to disable, and it's also super simple simple to re-enable it in case you ever need to re-enable it to switch the emulator settings or the video output resolution all right guys so let's dive on into this okay guys so first off i am running a tracked mode if you're not running a tracked mode, do not worry. This works the exact same way for emulation station. So no worries. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to options and emulation station, if that's what you're want running, and you're going to want to go to retro pie setup. You're going to launch it. Okay. Once retro pie setup is launched, you're going to scroll down to configuration and tools. Then you're gonna scroll down towards the bottom, I believe, until you find the run command launch script. Okay, there are a few settings in here. Um, you're gonna focus mainly on the first one. So you got launch menu, launch menu art, launch menu joystick, launch image delay in seconds. But again, you're going to want to focus on the first one right now. It, I have mine enabled because I'm tweaking mine. All you're going to do is hit OK to disable it. Then you're going to go to Exit. And you're going to go back. And then you're going to Exit. And that is pretty much it, guys. Alrighty guys, that's pretty much it. Next time you launch a game, no matter how many times you press a button, it will not launch that menu. It was pretty simple to do, so this is a pretty short tutorial, but it's also just as simple to re-enable. If you ever need to re-enable it for anything, you would go back to the exact same place you were in RetroPie Setup, and you will just click OK and enable it. Well, guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope this solves some problems for some people. If you like this video and if this video was helpful, hit that like button to see more videos like this. Or if you have any other videos that you might want a tutorial done on, drop a comment below. If you like this, again, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, game on, game on.